guys, it's Amy and it's Toy Tuesday and today I'm going to talk about something that I just found out about um, this summer and I'm going to be talking today, I'm going to be doing a review on Pinmates and I found out about them this summer through an episode of Robot Chicken. Um, I was watching an episode of Robot Chicken and the segment was Star Trek, they were had the, all the Star Trek, um, they had all the Star Trek uh, pin mates and they were like moving around and I was like what are those and I had no idea and I looked him up and um, I was like oh my god these are like the coolest things ever and honestly I have not heard of them even going through Toy Fair um, this past uh, February going looking at all the Toy Fair stuff didn't see them and all of a sudden this summer I found out about them and I'm, I'm a little obsessed uh, not a big Star Trek fan, um, not a big Marvel and DC fan, though I love some, I love me some, uh, um, Spider-Man, uh, but not a big, like, you know, big superhero fan. So, uh, I looked around and I found one that I really liked. I was really excited because I found a Howard the Duck, because I love Howard the Duck. Um, and I found, of course, my favorite, the Twilight Zone. This was actually a... Uh, this was a giveaway at Toy Fair um, a few years ago, but I thought this would be great because I do love, I do love the Twilight Zone. But they reminded me so much of Fisher Price Little People, and I love Little People. They're like I'm, I'm obsessed with Little People. I've been obsessed with Little People um, since I was <laughs> little, and even you know, even I'll give you a little story. So uh, I was like, I was eight years old, and these people lived upstairs for me, and they had a little boy. And he was three. And he had almost every little people thing. He had the barn and he had, you know, the schoolhouse. And my mom had obviously thrown some of them away. And I, I would go up to his house and just, just go up there just to play with the little people. I would, you know, I'd be like, you know, he was cute and he was a, he was a cute little boy and I loved him, but, um, I would be there to play little people with him. And when his mother started throwing them out, I ran to the dumpster and I was like, no, 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 don't throw those out. I want them. And my mom was like, no, you can't have them. And um, unfortunately, she threw, uh, his mother threw a bunch of them out. And I was like, man, and to this day, I should have kept them because I really love them. Um, and I, I loved my old sets. And uh, it's, one, it's on my list to start collecting eventually, but I'd, but I'd like to get them in their original boxes. But that's on that's a little ways down the way. But when I found Pinmates, I was so excited because um, I, I, just, I just love those. I'm going to review them. I'm going to take them out of the package, and I'm going to see how they compare to our little friends, uh, the, little, the little people. So these are little people, and um, if you're not, if you're a little older and you don't know, um, so these came out in the, this is actually a wooden one. Um, so in the, these came out in the early seventies. Um, and when these came out, they were originally, they were wood, uh, and, um, they came with a house and they came with a barn and they came, um, with all kinds of stuff. And, you know, they, they're pretty simple. And I think that's what I love about them is they're, they're just simple. They're not like complicated. They're just have the two little eyes and a little smile and they're just, they're the best. Um, and I had the schoolhouse, but I had uh, a bunch of them, but these came out in the 70s and at first they were wood and then eventually they turned over to plastic. Um, and then, so these, these ones without any arms and legs were made, uh, they were made until 1990 like this. And when, um, it, because kids kept swallowing them and choking, um, and dying, I don't know. I never met any, I never knew anybody who died from choking on a little person, but apparently they were dangerous. Um, so in 1990, they were redone and they were wider. They were wider um, and bigger. Their heads were bigger and they were wider. And those are only, those only came out for maybe like two or three years. And then Fisher Price put arms and legs on them and changed the faces. And they weren't, they weren't as cute um, because these are just so simple and so adorable. Um, I'm so, I'm so obsessed. Uh, so I don't do it anymore, but I used to go to our Goodwill around here, which is called Savers, um, or some, we still have, we don't think we have a lot of Goodwills. We do have a Savers, um, and it's the same thing. And if you go in there once in a while, you can find a pretty good uh, old, 
Fisher Price um, stuff. So I've got a couple of Fisher Price things that I've collected from there, but I think I'm going to start getting the Fisher Price uh, sets out of the box. That way, you know, because it's so hard to buy all the pieces, and I think it's just uh, cost effective just buy them out of the box. So I stopped doing that, but I still have a few that are hanging around downstairs. And um, so I was going to see how they, how the pin mates stood up to the old little people. Um, and these are not toys. Um, I call them toys, but they're made for adults. They're not for made for little kids because, you know, they are a choking hazard. Um, and it even says on the box, this is not a toy or the package. So I'm going to take these out because I love Howard the Duck. Love Howard the Duck. And I'm going to see how they compare to little people. So, oh, they are just so like, they're just, they're just like the same. It's amazing. Like, I'm so excited for these. I've had these for so long and I've wanted to do a blog on it, but I've had too many things going on. These are just amazing. They are the same size. They are the same width. They, they don't have a hole in the bottom, um, but they are the same exact thing. So you can have your little girl and you can also play with your Howard the Duck. So let's see, Howard the Duck can fit, oh look, Howard the Duck can fit in the little bus with the girl and they'll bounce up and down as they go, or they should, but yep. So your Howard the Duck fits in with all the other people and let's see, you can put him in a car. Oh, he fits so perfect. These are so cool. Oh my God, I just love these so much. Okay, I can't wait till February. I can't wait to see if they bring more out. Um, there's a few more that I want. They've got, they've got like, like I said, they've got the main ones. Like they've got Marvel's uh, Universe and they've got Guardians of the Galaxy. And, um, but they've also got a couple of a little strange ones. So they've got, um, they're, they've got Twin Peaks, which I think is on my list, um, which I want. Uh, they've got Dexter, which I've, no, I've never really watched and I'm not a big fan of. Um, but like I said, they have the Twilight Zone, they have Howard the Duck. Um, there's a couple more. They have a Mike Tyson, which I'm not sure where that came from. Um, but they've got the Big Bang Theory, but unfortunately they're all in Star Trek uh, uniforms. Um, but I think Twin Peaks is one that I want because they've got the Log Lady and they've got, uh, they've got the Log Lady. They've got, um, the, uh, they've got Laura all wrapped up like a mummy and they've got um, the detective, I can't remember his name. Um, but, uh, so yeah, so this is the, the set. This is an exclusive from Toy Fair. I mean, not, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited, I'm getting crazy. Um, it's an exclusive from Comic-Con. Uh, so, um, so yeah, this is the Twilight Zone. So you've got all your figures. So of course we have my favorite, Talkie Tina. And she's just like, look at, she's just like the same old girl. Like she's a little taller, but she's the same size. Oh my God. And then we've got um, the weird devil machine, the ask me yes and no questions with the episode of William Shatner. Um, uh, this is the green gremlin from uh, the William Shatner episode where he's on the airplane. I think it's called Nightmare, I think Nightmare to 20,000 feet. So this is the gremlin that's on the wing. And then this is the weird, like, I've never, I don't think I've seen this episode. This is Canamit. I don't think I've ever seen this episode. Um, but then they've got, which, so they've also got Beavis, which is in, they've got Uncle Simon the Robot. Here we go. And they've got, this must be, no, they don't have the invader. I'm not sure who this guy is. Let's see. Okay, this is so. This is this must be the invader, um, but it doesn't really look like him. But that's okay because you can you can still play with them. Um, uh, so I guess they there are other ones, but um, they have Henry Bemis and they have Bob Wilson from Nightmare uh, at 2000, 20,000 feet. Um, so yeah, they have a couple more, but these are my favorites because I I love Talkie Tina. So she's like she's so cool. Um, but yeah, these are just so cool. I, I just, I'm in awe. Like right now, like I hadn't taken out of the package. I hadn't compared them yet to little people, but I'm just in awe because they are just so, so cool. Um, I feel like I'm five years old again and I'm down in my <laughs> daycare basement and we're playing with them and, um, oh, I'm just so excited. Uh, but yeah, so there's Taki Tina. And so this is actually, um, one of my little... There's a little bank drive-through. So yeah, so you can put Talkie Tina 
in the car, and her and Howard the Duck can ride through the town. Look at they can ride through the town, and they can go into the garage. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, I gotta, I gotta play with this. Okay, I, I'll stop now because I'm just like, I'm in awe. So, thanks guys uh, for um, tuning in, and uh, happy Toy Tuesday. Make sure you subscribe to my blog, and um, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, happy Toy Tuesday. Bye guys.